Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nani. As always, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in or on your way out. Basically, today we're gonna be doing like something a little different. I'm not gonna be doing a hairstyle, I'm not gonna be doing a challenge, I'm not gonna be doing a prank, nothing like that. I just wanna sit down with my supporters and basically explain to you guys what I got going on in my life right now. It's gonna be kind of a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not going anywhere. But um, I decided like I just washed my hair so what I'm gonna do is just go through and do my hair routine and put things that I need to put in my hair all while I talk to you guys. Before we get into the chit chat guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And yeah we're on the road to 2k. I'm just so grateful for all my supporters. I'm grateful for every opportunity that has fell on my lap recently. I'm just really grateful I don't know what more I can say I want to thank God I want to thank my supporters and basically I want to thank myself for just being consistently consistent doing what I had to do that's as much talking as I'm gonna do right now we're just gonna get right into the chit chat so <laughs> if you guys do not have me on Instagram I'm pretty sure the people who have me on Instagram are going to know what I'm talking about but if you don't I'll explain so basically I've been watching YouTube for a long time now right and one of the top youtubers i watch is carmen pritchett and corey but yeah i've been watching them since i started like wanting to do a youtube channel basically they are kind of what, what made me want to start youtube like i just seen their channel grow when i seen the things that they're doing i was like oh that's so cool now before i started to do youtube i used to watch youtube all the time i used to watch their channel i used to watch um neek and king like it's just a lot of youtubers most of you guys might know some of you guys might not i just follow carmen's journey like on her way up into the youtube world basically when i started my channel i thought it was going to be harder for me because you know most youtubers are like couple youtubers there's not a lot of youtubers that are just singular youtubers like women youtubers okay that i know of i watch a lot of women youtubers i'm so i'm not gonna say there aren't any at all but there's kind of a little bit there's not a lot i was just like i don't know how i'm gonna make it in the youtube world and i just was like i'm gonna have to get it on my own so uh probably like two three weeks ago I'm on Instagram. I stopped using a lot of my social media, so I don't really use uh, Facebook like that anymore. I don't really use Snapchat, but I like to watch people's stories. I'm a little nosy, y'all. Sorry. Um, and I think that's really it. Snapchat and Instagram are like my top two. I don't really use Twitter, but I like to look at Twitter quotes on there. So anyway, I noticed Carmen had posted something about a boot camp. In order to join the boot camp, you had there's rules. So you had to be 18 um you had just you had to be 18 actually there's not even a lot of rules only thing only rule was you had to be 18. there wasn't like a rule you had to have a youtube for a certain amount of time you had to have this many subscribers none of that the only rule was you had to be 18. so i'm like cool i'm 21. so anyway i seen it and i was like oh now it cost um 20 dollars to be put in like in order to, to apply it cost twenty dollars now guys i only had twenty dollars in my bank account my last twenty dollars okay i didn't have like twenty five dollars i didn't have thirty dollars i had twenty dollars that was my last twenty dollars bill that i spent on that application so anyway weeks go on weeks go on and I'm just uploading consistently. I'm do putting up new content. I'm like banging these bangers out for y'all, okay? I'm just doing as much as I can to make sure that I post, to make sure that I can get noticed. I did whatever I had to do to get her to notice me and see like, yes, I want this. I, um, I was like posting pictures. I even did like a TikTok. You guys go check out my TikTok. I did like two TikToks and I don't even use TikTok. I wish I knew how to use TikTok, but I really don't. But I did like two TikToks and it really was, it wasn't hard, but it just wasn't my comfort zone TikTok. But I did it because that's what I had to, because you really have to do what you gotta do in order to come up in this world. Whether you like it or not, you're not just gonna get things handed to you. I'm gonna tell you that now. I did TikTok and stuff like that and she would just post 
all the time on her Instagram like guys make sure you're consistent make sure you're doing this make sure you're doing that and I was doing literally everything and then we had we had getting emails updates every week it was email one two three and four the first email was your order receipt okay I'll let I'll put pictures of these somewhere on the screen then F, you got a second email it says at application received congratulations you just applied to be a cast on Carmen's boot camp okay now update number three this is what update number three says submissions are rolling in and your interest has touched the entire team basically the process will begin once they have all submissions period then update number four came now it says the big surprise is here and they basically gave us something that they didn't offer to the public i'm not gonna say it on here but basically that's what they did and i appreciate you guys for that by the way thank you so much and i can't wait to experience that update number five was basically letting you know if you got in or not we just had to wait on all those emails now um i i waited i waited i waited not like weeks but because it wasn't a matter of days it was like september 1st september 3rd and september 6th or something like that in those it was in chronological order though i think it was every other day or every day but it did not make you wait too long but they had to go through all those applications mind you there were so many girls on my instagram if you guys go look up the hashtag cb see ready you guys will see all the girls that i was up against mind you it's fine and i even watched carmen's video if you guys want i'll put her link in the description so you guys can watch that video what it was was she had to go and pick and in her video she said it was over 500 girls 500 females that entered that entered to be in a contest with her and i seen her post that i immediately went to go watch the video because i'm like okay i'm excited i can't wait yada 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 i'm posting on my instagram story like y'all i'm carmen boot camp ready like i got what it takes i want to be an influencer I, like anything i gotta do to make it to be an influencer and make a better life for me and my daughter, I'm gonna do it. So I'm letting her know, like, yo, I'm ready to be a biggest, like, the next influencer. I'm ready to fight for my spot on the boot camp. Okay. Now I'm not really telling her this. I think I, um, I, t I put on my Instagram story. I wrote an Instagram picture about it. Everything. You guys can go check out my Instagram story. Now I wrote her when I first put an application, and I basically wrote her like a paragraph, explained to her about my life. That's when the app, that's when the application first started. And I, I sent the application. And I told her about myself, and I don't think I ever wrote her again. But I like sent her, uh, I mentioned her my stories, I mentioned her, um, I, I shared her stories, like anything I had to do, I did it. The day that they released email number three was the day I think they had like, the management team had like a big dinner and they invited all their team members out and stuff like that and I was like, okay, that's cool. So everybody was like on Instagram like, I don't really connect with the girls, some of the girls that apply, but because like I don't really know them but the ones that did apply and like they did come on my picture you know I like reached out to them and we talked for a little bit now before I get way too deep mind you I never told anybody about this the only people that really knew were people that I trusted basically what I'm saying is sometimes when you tell people stuff they wish on your downfall and to be honest that can affect you so I only told a select a few amount so my sister I told my cousin and I told my boyfriend or whatever I told those three people he helped me record my submission video okay so email number two was the email that you had to complete the application basically an application you know your regular stuff your name it work all that stuff then you had to submit two pictures and then a video clip I'm gonna show you guys the two pictures I submitted and then I'm not gonna show you the video because I can't but anyway the video was had to be 15 seconds now in order to make kind of me pop out in 50 seconds it was hard but I think I did what I had to do. Like, I think I did a good job. He helped me create the video. Like, it was like a lot. We had to rearrange the house. I had to get good lighting, all that. Like, it was just intense. In the matter of doing all of that, I um was kind of like nervous. Like, I had to do the video like like 15 times. Like, it was so many times that I wish I could show you guys how many times I did the video, but I deleted it on my phone. But I did that video so many times and I was so nervous. Like, I even said this to my little sister. And I was like, well, which one do you think is best? And she picked the, the video. Like, it was two videos that I sent her and she picked the video that I sent in. After that, after we sent in the video, I had to just wait. And that's when application number three, I mean, update number three and four came in where they sent you like, okay, um, we're still waiting, da 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 Cool, right? Right. So I'm waiting, I'm on edge, mind you. I'm like just 
praying to God. I'm like, God, if you get me this, like, I will not let you down. Like, I will do anything it takes to become really someone that people look up to. Literally, just the next influencer. I'm sitting there just praying every day, checking my email, checking my email, checking my email, checking my email. When I tell you guys I check my email almost like 10 times a day, I literally check my email 10 times a day. Now, in, if I, if you basically get picked, you go to Houston, Houston, Texas. Mind you, I've never, ever, I've never been on a plane. I've never been to Houston, let alone Texas, even though they the same thing, I ain't never been there. So y'all, I'm excited. The day where they were supposed to announce it comes and they didn't, my nerves just shot down bad. Like I was like, oh my God, like, you know, I'm not gonna get it. Like, oh, I feel so stupid. Like I was just, I was just feeling on edge. Like, I was like, I shouldn't even try. Like I was just saying so much stuff. I was like, I don't even know why I thought I, like why I thought I could get in and this and a third. Like I was just shooting myself down bad. But mind you, nobody really knows this because like I told you before, I didn't tell anybody. I'm like, okay, you know what? Now they just, just wait, just wait, just wait. Then that's when they sent the email, like, oh, they're still looking at applications, like, don't be discouraged. They sent that fourth email, and since that fourth email, we have been waiting. Okay, this is where the exciting news comes in, y'all. I was sleeping, actually. My daughter was up with my sister. I was sleeping, and I get, no, and then I wake up because I hear my daughter. My daughter makes this weird noise. I check my phone. I don't even know why I woke up, why I check my phone, because I knew nobody was texting me, nobody, nothing. But I check my phone, and I have two emails. Now usually when I have emails at night, it's usually like, not even like important emails, but you know, I checked them anyway. Y'all, uh, can I get a drum roll, okay? When I checked my email, that thing said, congratulations, pack your bag. Baby, I'm going to Houston, Texas, y'all. Now, I'm not going to say I'm an official winner yet because it's only the semi-finalist. But, baby, I'm going to Houston, Texas. I'm going to be amongst Carmen Pritchett to basically fight for my spot on her boot camp. And, baby, when I tell you I'm going to fight for my spot on her boot camp, oh, baby, trust and believe, I'm going to fight for a spot on that boot camp. I got this far. You don't think God going to take me further? I'll wait. But I tell y'all, this is like a experience of a lifetime. And no matter if I make it or not, I made it to sit in front of Carmen Pritchett. Like, nobody really understands what that means to me because nobody, ha nobody has been on this YouTube journey with me, really, except for my daughter's father. Like, nobody. No, like, everybody, like, I'm not gonna say everybody hasn't seen me grow and stuff like that because you guys have. But there's been, when I'm making a video or when I need help with something, it's not, oh, he's not gonna help. I'm like, listen, I need a video idea or I need help setting up something, yada, yada, yada. We bump heads when we do it. He's like, well, you should do it like this. I'm like, well, I don't think that'll look nice. That so we do bump heads a lot when we're doing it. But clearly we've been doing something right or he has been helping me the right way to help me get to where I'm at. I worked so hard. I have done everything I need to do. Post consistently, gain subscribers, get the watch hours. Everything that I need to do, I've been doing it, okay? And just to have this experience to even sit in front of her and show her what I got what it takes to be the next influencer, oh yeah, it's lit. In Texas, me, I'm going to Houston, Texas. At first, it was so surreal. I just couldn't believe it. When I got the email, I stared at it. I stared at it for like five minutes, just looking. I'm like, oh my God. Like, this is just gonna change my life. Not forever, but it's gonna change it for the better. I can tell you that. Even if I don't make it, they're gonna know who I am. They're gonna know, oh, this is Nani. Nani's World. Nani's World on YouTube. Yeah, go subscribe to her. Like I keep telling y'all, hit that subscribe button. When I tell you I'm doing it to do the damn thing, I'm doing it to do the thing. Like, I'm not playing. I'm not. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna be looking over here because I'm gonna use this mirror to do my edges, but I'm gonna still be talking to y'all, okay? I'm not playing around with them out there. I'm not, cause you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to where I wanna be. Why? Because like I said, you don't get nowhere by not doing what you gotta do. And I promise you I'm gonna do that. 
I promise you. I don't do, if I never did nothing right in life, I'm gonna do this right. I swear, if I never do nothing right in life, I swear I'm gonna do this right. Y'all, I don't wanna cry right now because I'm getting emotional. Even though, I, like I said, I'm not the top 10 on there, but no BS, y'all. I prayed for this day. Like, I worked so hard to get to where I am now on YouTube by getting the subscribers, everything. I've worked hard. And like I said, nobody really understands that. Me getting this opportunity just has opened my eyes to show me somebody else sees my growth. Somebody else sees potential in me. A little Onande from Utica, New York. Like, I've never had that. And to get this opportunity to be able to fly to another state to go show somebody else the talent that I got, y'all would never understand that. And I'm mad I'm crying right now, but y'all, I'm so excited. And these aren't even sad tears. These are happy tears. The way that, the way that life is going, I'm glad that this, this dropped in my lap when it did because now I have even more reason to stay motivated and get on my grind and do what I gotta do. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know y'all probably like not that serious, da 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 da, but y'all would never understand what's serious until you put the work in that you need to put in. When y'all sit in front of a camera for two, three hours, not even hours, I sit in front of a camera for almost 20 minutes, not even, tw it could be 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever. I sit in front of a camera and I do what I gotta do. And then after that, I edit and I do what I gotta do in order to basically get this content out to you guys. Sometimes the same day, sometimes it's not. Imagine how hard it is to record, edit all in the same day. Some people just don't have it in them to sit and do this. They don't. So I'm not gonna sit here and discredit myself because what I'm doing is something that I can do. This is a very big accomplishment to me and I'm crying happy tears about it. I know, like I said, some people are probably like, this girl crying, it's not that serious, she even make it yet. I made it far enough to get as a semi-finalist. Even if I don't make it, like I said, I made a, I made a imprint on Carmen to wanna pick me to be a semi-finalist. I get to meet her in person, okay? And like I said, some people don't really know what that means to me. Y'all looking at it like, oh, she's a fan, or she sounds like a groupie, and this and the third. To be honest, if you guys wanna say I sound like a groupie, that's fine with me. That I'm totally fine with hearing I sound like a groupie. You wanna know why? Because this groupie got picked to go meet her in person. This groupie got picked out of 500 females. So I'm fine with that. I work hard, I do what I gotta do. I let it be known, I show. If you guys follow me on my social medias, you guys know. I post, I drop my link everywhere. I let people know, like, you know, go watch me, go subscribe to me, all that good stuff. Like, I do all that. And I don't get, I'm not saying I don't get help, like, by getting promoted, but I don't get, like, promotions from big people. I get promoted from people in my city that actually support me. So I'm forever grateful for y'all, too. Shout out to Utica. Shout out to the people in Utica who support me. Shout out to y'all, honestly. Like, that's another thing like y'all are another reason why because y'all got my videos video views up which get my content out there so really shout out to y'all too honestly like shout out to y'all y'all this is the finished look i just put my hair in a slick back but yeah shout out to y'all for real y'all are dope i keep me motivated i show me like nanda you really got what it takes people ask me yo nanda or nanda can you help me with this nanda can you help me with that and i'm more than grateful to help. I don't hide no secrets. You wanna know where I got my intro made? Here's the girl's Instagram. You wanna know how I edit? Here's the editing tools I use. You wanna know how I make a thumbnail? Here's the thumbnail tools I use. I even made a video on it. If you guys need help with thumbnails, go watch my video. If you guys need help editing, let me know. I'll drop a video on that. Like, it's, it's nothing. I'm glad to help everybody because like I said, everybody who supports me, I support them back. Even if you don't support me and I like what you do, I'm gonna support you no matter what. I know y'all probably like, she's ODing, but I'm for real. I'm dead serious. Getting that email last night changed my whole perspective. Like, baby, I'm going to Houston, Texas. I know I keep saying that, but I'm really going to Houston. I can't believe it. I'm just praying that God got me this far and he'll take me further. That's really all I'm praying. But yeah, guys, that is really it for the video. I did my hair and just wanted to chit chat with you guys about what's going on in my life. If you guys are more interested to know like more updates about it, let me know and I'll keep just dropping updates about it. You can go to my Instagram and see updates about it like 
I've been working hard. <laughs> but that's about it, guys. I'm sorry for the heavy tears. Please do not mind that. But y'all, congratulations to me. I'm going to Houston, Texas, and I'm just so excited. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for literally everything that you guys bring and do for my channel, literally. Thank you guys for the comments, thank you guys for the likes, thank you guys for the subscribers. Thank you, really, like, honestly, thank you. That's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Um. Also, guys, I will be doing a collab. I think today's Sunday. Oh, it's my phone. Today is Sunday, September 13th. So I am working on a collab tomorrow, Monday, September 14th. I will drop his um, link channel. His name is, the, well, the, their channel called the Sneakerho Sneakerholics. I'll be doing a collab with them. Um, I'm not sure if I'll post a video on my channel, uh, if I'll post a video on my channel, but you guys definitely go check out their channel because I will be on their channel showing you guys some of my top five sneakers. You guys are amazing and I'm ready to do amazing things and bring y'all with me, y'all. Thank you for watching and all that good stuff and I'll see you in my next video, y'all. Bye. I thought